How well do you know your body? Let's check this out with this quick 10 fact challenge and see how much you score out of 10. Ready? So, here we go. The first question is, which is the largest internal organ in the human body? Heart, liver or kidney? The answer is liver. Liver is the largest internal organ and the second largest organ of our body after skin. About the size of a rugby ball, the liver weighs nearly 1.8 kilograms in men and 1.3 kilograms in women and carries out over 500 biological functions in our body. The next one is, what is the total length of blood vessels in the human body? 1,000 kilometers, 10,000 kilometers, or 100,000 kilometers? Answer is a hundred thousand kilometers. Amazing, isn't it? If you were to lay out all of your arteries, capillaries, and veins in an adult end to end, they would stretch for about a hundred thousand kilometers. The circumference of the earth is about forty thousand kilometers, which means our blood vessels could circle our planet more than twice. Which of these body parts does not have any blood vessels? Cornea, eyelids or earlobes? The answer is cornea. The only living cells in our body with no blood vessels are those of cornea in the eye. Cornea needs to be transparent to enable vision. If blood flowed directly to the front parts of the eye, we wouldn't be able to see. So instead, from blood, these cells get oxygen directly from air and through the watery fluid in the eyes. Next is, how many bones are humans born with? 300, 206 or 180? The answer is 300. A baby's body has around 300 bones at birth. They eventually fuse or grow together to form 206 bones as an adult. And did you know hands and feet together contain more than half of the bones in our entire body? Each hand has 27 bones and each foot has 26, which means that together they have 106 bones. Which body part are babies born without? Eyebrows, kneecaps or ankles? The answer is kneecaps. Did you also think eyebrows? Well, the baby eyebrows might be very fine, but it's kneecaps that babies are born without. In place of bony kneecaps that the adults have, Babies are born with a tough piece of cartilage and between the ages of two to six years, this cartilage slowly turns into bone and becomes the kneecap. Moving on to question six. How many pairs of ribs do we have? Eight, 10 or 12? The answer is 12. Did you pause the video to count? Well, most people have 12 pairs of ribs. Ribs help us to breathe and offer protection to many of our delicate internal organs, such as heart and lungs. But the rib bones themselves are quite fragile and can easily be broken in an accident or even by a violent sneeze. Next is, which is the hardest part of the human body? Tooth enamel, femur, that is thigh bone, or the skull. The answer is tooth enamel. Now please, don't test it with a hammer. Tooth enamel is the hardest and most highly mineralized substance in the human body. 
femur, which is the thigh bone, is the longest and strongest bone in the human body. Moving on, how much saliva is produced by our mouth in a day? 100 to 200 millilitres? 200 to 500 millilitres? Or 1 to 2 litres? The answer is 1 to 2 litres. Saliva helps us chew, taste and swallow. It contains special chemicals that our body needs to digest food and keep our teeth strong. The next question is, in which of these organs does a major part of digestion occur? Stomach, small intestine or large intestine? The answer is small intestine. A series of organs make up our digestive system. Out of them, stomach breaks down the food using digestive acids. Small intestine, which is actually about 20 feet long tube, is where the major digestion and absorption of nutrients occur. These nutrients go to the liver and what's left passes into the large intestine to absorb any remaining nutrients and water from the liquid waste. The last question of the challenge is, which of these is true? People can live with one kidney, people can live with one lung, or both of the above. The answer is both of the above. Kidneys fall to waste and excess fluid from the blood, which is later excreted from the body in the form of urine. One kidney can filter enough blood to keep the body functioning normally, so a person can survive and be healthy with only one kidney. Lungs bring oxygen into the body and remove carbon dioxide. If a person's one lung is removed, he or she can still function normally. Pope Francis had a part of lung removed when he was younger. In the past, this procedure was used to treat lung infections. So, how well did you score? Hope you learnt some new facts about your body in this video. Share this with your friends and see how much they score. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked the video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. See you in the next one. Till then, take good care of yourself.